Cross. I'm running for Union President, uh, and I'm running because I feel that the focus has been taken away from the student body and needs to return to that. Uh, well, in my manifesto, I've, I've essentially tried to focus on modernising uh, the union so that it's greater kind of... Um, it's the word I'm looking for. It's... Integration? That's the one. In <laughs> Sorry. Integration with the, uh, with the student body so they're able to communicate their ideas effectively. There is always uh, a student who has an idea of how to improve the university from their perspective, but there is never... Um, the, the, a method to which that they can do so. Well, they feel that there's no method to do so. Um, I want to establish a point where they're able to go onto the, the Students' Union website uh, and submit their idea, uh, have it peer-reviewed uh, and, and actually take it seriously. Um, I also feel that quite a few students are finding that they're just being neglected um, or not listened to. I think there's a really recent thing on accommodation prices that still needs to be challenged. Um, I don't think it was a good enough deal. Mm -hmm. There is limited room in existing accommodation. It's always constantly water damaged or you've got rooms closed off. Mm -hmm. The newest stuff is still not up to scratch. Um, and whilst 50 grand is a very nice big figure for the discretionary grant, not a lot of students know that it's available. Uh, they don't know where to go to get it. Um, and if you're trying to support the number of freshers and returners coming into student accommodation, 50 grand really won't stretch. Mm -hmm. uh, constantly just getting backing from the student body, uh, making sure that they're aware of when negotiations are taking place. I feel that that wasn't sufficiently communicated with the student body. It was um, Andrew going towards uh, accommodation services, having a discussion, coming back, that being rejected, but then approved, not approved, yeah, no, agreed upon. Andrew and accommodation services. Um, what I would do is continue to inform the student body of what's going on with accommodation services, attempt to drive at the fact that costs need to be lowered, um, looking into the minimum student um, finance options for the SAS and SFE, uh, uh, and attempt to uh, pressure accommodation services. The one thing I want to do is make students' lives better mm -hmm. um, through any means possible. Within reason, I can't make okay. fun of a space station. Yeah, okay. uh, um, <laughs> thinking more specifically. Specifically, though. yeah. If you're if you're looking at a, a policy, the policy. Okay. Uh, improved feedback from academic staff, uh, a much more informed uh, student body, so more integration with uh, with the union, um, so that we don't feel so separate from the student body. Uh, I want to make sure that the students are able to feel that if they are having any problems at university whatsoever, they are able to come to the union and discuss it through. Because there are too many times that I've spoken to people and they've just felt helpless. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll go and try and find student support, not find the help that they need, or they get some really frustrated, worrying answer through the website. Okay. Um, so just a more human touch. So sort of a more unification between more, the yeah. university and the uni? and the students. Yeah.